Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 43 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. This part's starting off quite a bit differently than usual, and that's because I went ahead and renovated the bakery, and I was gonna put the renovation into a separate video, but once I sped everything up and edited it, I only had about six minutes of footage, so I decided to just tack it on to the beginning of a part rather than making it its own separate video. But in case any of you aren't interested in seeing the renovation and want to just skip right to the gameplay, I'll leave an annotation somewhere that'll skip to that point. Or if you're watching on your phone, just go to about six minutes and that's about when the actual gameplay will start. But as far as the whole renovation goes, originally I was going to do this major overhaul of the layout of the whole bakery building and make it so the kitchen was downstairs in the basement and there was a photo studio on the second floor and then the third floor was this little one bedroom apartment in case they wanted to stay there, but since this Let's Play will be ending in a couple parts, well there's only a couple more parts after this one, I felt like it wasn't necessary to do this whole time consuming overhaul of the bakery if I was only going to be able to use it for two parts, so what I decided to do instead was just keep the layout as was and just spruce everything up on the first floor a bit, like make it look brighter, more modern, and then in the basement I turned the main area into a photo studio and then made a separate little room for the cupcake factory. And I really like how it turned out, I think the bakery definitely looks better with its new, bright, and more cheerful look. At this point I made most of the changes I'm going to make to the seating and sales area of the bakery. And before, the bakery had a dark and vintage look to it. And while I like the vintage look, I wanted to make the place look more updated and just more bright and colorful. So as you can see, I changed the walls to be a light blue color and I also placed a lot of light green items throughout. Mainly stuff that came with the cool kitchen stuff pack, uh, just because I really love the look of bright green. I just think it makes this place look so much more fun and cheerful and I just think it looks a lot better. I'm really excited to play with this newly renovated bakery, although I'm not actually going to use it in this part, but I will be in the next part. I also plan to visit the bakery again in the last part. But what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out how exactly I want to arrange the wall decorations. So we have that large blue and green poster on the brick wall and then the cake above the seating. That's actually it for the main eating area. Uh, I just love how it turned out. But right now I'm working on the bathroom and I wanted to give this bathroom a more updated look than what it had. I did upgrade the sink and the toilet to some much nicer ones, so hopefully we won't have issues with them breaking as much because the sink and toilet has broken a lot in this let's play. So hopefully these nicer, newer ones won't break quite as often. Uh, right now I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to have on the wall in here. I think that's actually about it for the bathroom. So now I'm moving on to the kitchen and I changed hardly anything in here. I did change the paneling that was, I think it was paneling along that one wall. Yeah, but I changed whatever was on that one wall to that industrial painted over brick. And then I also swapped out the stove and refrigerator for some nicer quality ones. So hopefully that'll help Kevin and Maya to be able to make better quality baked goods so that'll sell for more money. And uh, yeah, already done with the kitchen, so now moving on to this little entrance area in here. I just made this, once again, I made this look a bit more bright and more modern with the purple wallpaper and the more, I guess, glamorous looking couch and nicer wall painting. I did also keep the brick that was on the exterior walls throughout the whole first floor just because that was a touch I really liked. I wanted to keep that in as I renovated it. But we're actually done with the first floor so now I'm moving on to the basement area which as I said previously is a photo studio slash area where the cupcake factory is. I did make that separate room there to put it in so we have a bit more space for the photo studio. The photo studio is of course for Maya so I think it'll be really fun to have her down here running the photo studio while Kevin and Zara are upstairs running the bakery. I probably will have to hire another employee for them, but so that's something I'll worry about in the next part. And around the photo studio, I wanted to use pictures that Maya's taken as the decorations, because I remember she had all those pictures that she took in Granite Falls. So I just hung them up, as well as some of the personal ones throughout the whole room as if they were samples of photography and also photography that she had for sale. So I said everything that was 
scenery type photos for sale and then I didn't set the ones that were of uh, her family and friends and such for sale. It doesn't really matter much but I thought it'd be kind of weird to be selling personal photos in a photo studio but I see those more so as being photography samples. Here I'm adding in some seating for the customers because I wasn't sure what else to put down here so I figured why not add in a seating area and I actually didn't end up spending all the money they had on this renovation. I think they had a little under 20,000 simoleons to start out with and they ended up having about six or 7,000 left I think. But I didn't want to just add in stuff just for the purpose of using up all their money. I figured you better save some of their money for other things and I also didn't want to put in a ton of unnecessary decorations as well because I don't really like doing that with builds I actually use for playing in. Uh, but that's it for the photo studio, so now I'm moving on to the little cupcake area. I didn't really put much in here, just some a shelf with some flower bags on it and some counters to decorate at. And that's really about it. So that's it for the renovation, and now we're going to be joining Kevin at work. <laughs> it's the beginning of his work day, and I'm going to have him start off by analyzing some evidence. Let Oh, where is it? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's go with an evidence sample. And I did play for about a sim week between or after I left off the last part just because I wanted to make a lot of progress with everyone before going into the last few parts of this series. I did spend most of that time with Kim and Lee but I'm gonna go into what exactly I had them accomplish when we're back with them in the last part. I did follow Kevin into work one day and got a promotion so now he's level 8 and a captain. I also worked a bit on the case that we had him get the last part we followed him, because I, I think at the end of the last part we followed him into work, I had him get a case assignment. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I did have him figure out a few clues for that, and also visit the crime scene. So let's go over what clues we found. This suspect is materialistic in a male, but I definitely need more than that for issuing APB. So I wanted to have him get a few more clues, and then after that we're going to go issue the APB, arrest someone, hopefully interrogate him. Should have time to do all of that for the end of his shift. Uh, Alright, just finish with that. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, it wants us, eh, we'll just analyze another piece of evidence. Because I do want him to get two clues anyway, so while he's here, might as well just do it. Alright, so we'll have him get the fingerprint. The crime set I had him go to wasn't really very exciting, so you all didn't miss out on anything with that. Yeah, it was just at a house and there was graffiti around and that sort of thing. I'm actually really disappointed that as you get higher up, in the police career that, or detective career, oh, whoops, we got bills, um, yeah, it's kind of disappointing that as you get higher up in the detective career, nothing, like, nothing really changed, it's just the same thing throughout the career, like, I was hoping that the crime scenes would get more interesting, but, no, it just, it doesn't really change. Uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely why the detective career is my least favorite out of the three get-to-work careers. At least with the other two, there is variety as you go up through the levels. Uh, let's see the- oh, I didn't catch what that was. Uh, let's- you should be able to- I just had you figure out two things. Why are you not able to- okay, whatever. We'll just have you deduce a new clue. Uh, let's see. The suspect is wearing slacks. Oh, wow. Deducing clues actually worked. So the suspect is an elder. We have four- four clues now. I, I guess that's enough. You know what? I'm just gonna have him get another one. Just to be safe, let's go ahead and analyze an evidence sample. Not sure who he was trying to talk to. I guess he's trying to talk to her. He just finished up analyzing the evidence. So now to go over here and add another clue, and then I think five clues should be plenty to be able to catch a criminal. We should definitely be able to find them pretty easily. Alright, we learned that the suspect is wearing a short sleeve shirt. Uh, ooh, what is this? I haven't noticed this Moodle before. Let's see, cracking the case. Kevin had a brilliant breakthrough on the case. Oh, I think that was from deducing the clue. Yeah, I haven't done that before, or successfully deduced a new clue before. At least I don't think I have. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and issue that APB now. Oh, actually, we should let him go to the bathroom first. We'll let him go to the bathroom, then issue the APB. For this APB, it looks like we're somewhere in the desert. Oh, wait, I think this is actually the park in Oasis Springs. Yeah, alright, let's find this. Actually, I need to look at all the clues really quick. So, let's see. Materialistic, male, slacks, elder, short sleeve shirt. Alright, cool. So, first let's look for an elder wearing a short sleeve shirt and some slacks. 
All right, I think that disqualifies Jeffrey Landgrab. Okay, where is... Oh, that's cool. He's going to talk to Bianca. Oh, he said for missing. Oh, I think it's this guy. This guy looks pretty sketchy. Casey, yeah, he just he just looks sketchy. All right, let's go do the whole. Let's let's give a friendly introduction. I have a feeling this guy's gonna be it. He seems appearance-wise to fit the bill. Oh, let's see if he happens to be. Ah, yes, he's materialistic. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that pretty, he looks frustrated about something. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's it. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna get on with the arresting. That was quick. <laughs> so easy when you have a ton of clues. Now that we're back here, let's get on with interrogating this sketchy looking old man. Uh, da -da -da, there we go, interrogate suspect. I think we should have maybe not plenty of time to do that. We, Yeah, he works until 5 now. So I may not be able to quite finish. I'll say maybe it'll go really well. Oh, <laughs> cheer up a bit, Kevin. They just look so, so depressing when they're sad. Oh, oh well. Well, in a couple hours he'll feel a little bit better. So we've got an, an, ugh, an hour and a half to interrogate him. Not sure if we're going to be able to quite do that. Alright, uh, oh, come on. This guy does not want to cooperate. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Interrogate. So now he's going to have to get up and talk to him again. Yeah, I don't think... Well, I could have him stay later, but... Nah, I I had other things I wanted to do after he gets off work. I actually kind of wish he, um, he still worked till 6 so we'd have a little bit more time to do... Okay, actually I'm gonna... I'm gonna look... We're gonna look at Kevin this time since we always looked at the suspect. So this time we're gonna look at him. Let's start off with promising a tasty meal. <laughs> I love that stern look he's giving him. Alright, he's on promising a tasty meal. Oh, we also have talked to the chief here. Don't think we're gonna have enough time for that. Oh, we have one hour. Alright, cool. Zara's off to work. Okay, so we did that. Let's just queue up. Let's off our candy bar. Do some evidence-based ones as well. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I ugh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. And this is actually the last time I'm gonna be following Kevin into work in this Let's Play. You know what? I'm gonna stay late. Uh, he'll be off at 7, so I should still have time to do something else, after, do what I wanted to afterwards. I just really, you know, we're, we've come this far, so I want him to be able to actually finish the inter interrogation. This is the last time we're gonna follow him to work in this Let's Play, so... Might as well have him stay late. All right, so I think he's done. Let's let's review case file. I think I had him do that already. Might have. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. Do we want to break out the bad cop? Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Ooh, I think that worked. Oh, nice. Whatever that was worked. <laughs> Oh, that's working too. See, I don't know if I want to do the backup stuff because it seems like the good cop stuff is working on this guy. Okay, let's try. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna intimidate him. Let's see if this works. Oh. <laughs> why do they? I wonder why they tap that every time. <gasps> Ooh, that worked. That worked. Okay, let's try another. Let's dangle handcuffs. Hopefully this does it. <gasps> Yay! Alright, we can get that confession now. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna lock him up. We have plenty of time to do that. Oh, cool. Bianca's over there. I see her around a lot. Alright, so we've got one hour left. I think he's gonna be getting that confession soon. And there we go. We got that. So now to lock this guy up. Alright, we got this old case closed thing, and then of course we had to take the celebratory post-arrest, or yeah, post-arrest selfie. Oh wait, no, actually not post-arrest, post-lockup selfie, alright, so. We're gonna have you go here, stop eating, you can eat later on when you get home. 
And then let's have you take a selfie. That's a nice photo. All right, do that. And then turn around to where we can see him. There we go. He looks nice and pissed off. All right, we're good. So we still have a little bit of time. I'm actually going to have him go over and talk to the chief. We'll see what they have to say. Oh, is it Brennan Garcia? It looks like we got someone completely new. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him to be the chief by the end of the series, which makes me sad because I feel like I feel kind of like I failed at having a get to work let's play because I didn't get any of them to the any of them to the top of their careers. But then again, I mean, with get to work, it's it's kind of it can get kind of dull if all you do is have them work. So I wanted to balance that some with working on their personal lives, which of course meant that they progressed through their careers a bit slower. Uh, oh, oh, we didn't even get to see what the chief had to say to him. But let's see, he did a fantastic job. Usual stuff it says, and he made one thousand five hundred sixty simoleons. He just got home, and I believe they had some bills. So oh, geez, two thousand two hundred seventy-five simoleons. Yeah, let's have him go ahead and pay that. And then, okay, never mind, for whatever reason, it can get to the mailbox. Um, but that's not a problem. We can just go over here and pay the bills that way. But what I wanted to do with this evening is have Maya invite over Thomas. Because she decided that she wants to have her cake and eat it too, so to speak. So she's going to do what she really wants to and try to have both Thomas and Robert be your boyfriend at the same time, so this could get sort of messy, but she believes she could successfully date both of them at the same time, so we're just gonna have her... Let's have her ask him out on a date, and I believe they can have at-home dates. I know that you could in the beginning, and then you couldn't, but I think now you can have home dates again. Uh, we'll see once we get out here to the map view. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, alright, we can just have the date here. Uh, we should actually get you out of something get you into something other than your PJs. Let's go with... let's go with everyday wear 2. Yeah, actually no, let's go with... let's go with everyday wear 3. That outfit's a little bit nicer. And her reasoning for wanting to have the data at home is that she of course doesn't want to risk Robert seeing the two of them together, because she still is of course dating him, but then she's gonna ask Thomas if he wants to be her boyfriend. Let's have her compliment his appearance. And then, what else can we do? Let's give a hug. What is, actually, what is Kevin doing? Oh, he's, oh, he's so lonely and sad. Just eating cake by himself. Okay, uh, you need to talk to someone. Uh, let's see, let's have you call Lee. Yeah, you could just talk to him for a little bit. Maybe talk to Kim afterwards as well. I'd like to think that Kevin's just completely oblivious to what's going on over here with Maya. Like, he knows that she's dating Robert, but is just oblivious to whatever is going on with Thomas. Although Zara has noticed what's going on a little bit more, um, as I discussed previously. Uh, let's see what I ever do. I think I had her flirt with him, which he is of course into since he's pretty much in love with her. He definitely has stronger feelings for her than she does for him. Uh, let's also... let's also embrace. And oh, right, right. They haven't had their first kiss yet. Not sure that I want to do that quite yet, though. Let's see. Uh, we can have it blow a kiss to him. Then Kevin's just over here, minding his own business in the computer room. He's probably chatting with people online. Yep, that's what he's doing. Anyway, back over here. Uh, let's have these two channel surf together. They can just cuddle on the couch a little bit. It'll be interesting to see how long Maya can get away with dating the two of them at the same time. <laughs> I see Kevin just came in here to start dancing. Uh, let's have her goof around. I don't want to have her flirt with him too much in front of Kevin. Oh! Oh, what just happened? Oh, I, I'm not sure what happened there. Let's try... Let's try flirting again. Let's also get Kevin out of here and have him go do something else. Uh, let's see. Let's have you go back to chatting. Uh, wait, no. Somewhere else. Oh, oh, there we go. Socialize. There we go. Let's have you go uh, chat with... Oh, you're friends with him, so go talk to him. 
leave these two alone. Oh, I forgot to completely forgot to pay attention to this stuff. Uh, okay, let's compliment his appearance, and then we can have her flirt a little bit more. Oh, let's have them watch romance TV. That would definitely help a lot with this. So let's watch. Yeah, let's go ahead and change this to romance. I also wanted to have her snuggle with him. Where is that? Ah, there we go. It's always really adorable to have the Sims do. Aww. Look at these two lovers. Oh, I think Lee just went walking by. Aw, oh, that, that interaction is just so adorable. I think that one... Maybe even more adorable than the make a move one. Okay, we can have you tease flirtatiously. Where where did you get that cake from? She just randomly got a cake out of thin air. Okay then. Uh, well, I guess she had that in her inventory or something like that. Okay, you. Uh, actually, how hungry? No, you don't. You're not even that hungry. You don't need to be eating cake in the middle of your day. That's just rude. At least offer him some. Okay, let's have you whisper sweet nothings. Oh, why are they flirty yet? Oh, we could have her confess her attraction again. Yeah, I think we... Oh! Oh! I guess she's not very... Oh no! I guess she's not very good at giving massages. Okay, let's uh... Let's tell a self-deprecating joke. Hopefully that'll lighten up the mood a little bit. Yay, she's no longer embarrassed. Okay, let's get back to having her do some flirting so we can have her make a move. What else do we want to do? Uh, we can just have her flirt. And he's, of course, into the whole making a move thing. So basically, what she wants to do is tell him that she's thought about the whole, she's thought about everything and decided that he's the person she really wants to be with. And that she's broken up with Robert, and him and Robert have uh, drifted apart since graduating from high school some, so they haven't been talking a lot, and he's also just so in love with Maya that he wants to believe what she says. Um, so we're going to have her call then his appearance. We did also learn that he's jealous, so that is the other trait that I gave him once he aged up. That that could be quite interesting to have him be a bit jealous. Oh, we can have her blow a kiss at him. And then after that, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have them be able to get to where um, she can ask him to be her boyfriend. Okay, let's try. I think I already had her compliment his appearance, but we could do that again. So then uh, Zara is gonna walk in on these two, flirting some. Where is she actually? She definitely can tell what's going on here and. Probably isn't thinking too highly of Maya right now, cause uh, she's she knows that of course she's dating Thomas, cause she saw them canoodle or er, dating uh, Robert actually, cause she saw them canoodling at the wedding. I don't know why I said canoodling. I think that's a word. But anyway, you know, she saw them kissing and stuff at their wedding, and then now Maya's sitting on the couch flirting with this guy. Not long after the wedding, uh, well, while they're standing up. Okay, well let's have her flirt with him first, and. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it and have them have the first kiss. I don't think it would go too well if um, she just goes for fear of commitment with him, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but... Yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this first kiss goes. Aww. There we go, now they've had their first kiss. We can also have her hold hands with him. Ooh, she wants to woohoo. Oh, should we have them do that? Oh, nice! They're finally, they're finally flirty. All right, let's have her cross his cheek. Oh, you know what? Oh, we could have them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. we could have them woohoo in the hot tub. Yes, let's do that because uh, Kevin and Zara are sleeping in the bed, so they're not gonna be able to do it there. They're not gonna be able to do it in her bed because it's against a wall. Um, oh, jeez, why is Try for Baby coming up first? There we go. Oh, that would have been awful. Let me make sure I picked Yes Wuhu. Um, that would have been so awful if I had just picked Try for Baby in Hot Tub without thinking about it. Oh god. 
Um, I mean, maybe she'll have a kid someday, but I really don't want to go into the get-together let's play with her having a kid. Um, alright, so these two are gonna go and woohoo in the hot tub. And after they're done with this, I'm gonna have her ask him to be her boyfriend. And I'm pretty sure they can have multiple boyfriends and girlfriends and such. Uh, which is really cool, because I don't think in The Sims 3... I feel kind of creepy taking a picture of that, but um... I, I don't think in The Sims 3 they could have multiple boyfriends and girlfriends, but it's kind of cool that in The Sims 4 they can. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully he's gonna say yes. I don't know if... Because I think technically he knows they're together, so... Due to his jealous trait, he might say no. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Hopefully he says yes. I think they're almost done. Oh no. <laughs> Still going. This goes on for a while. I'm surprised they don't draw in there. Really? <laughs> not done yet? Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, just get in. Okay. Alright. Now I think that's done. And then Kevin and Zara are happily asleep, just oblivious to everything that's going on. And it is the middle of the night, so I think everyone else is pretty much in bed. No one really saw that go down. So yeah, things are getting pretty steamy between these two, and she's thinking she could pull off this whole having two boyfriends at once thing. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's stay away from the massaging stuff, because that did not go up for... Uh, we can have her... Uh, actually, you know, let's just go ahead. It's it's getting pretty late. She's super duper tired. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and ask him to be her boyfriend. Hopefully he says yes and she doesn't end up royally embarrassed. Bruna. So let's see oh, how this goes. Oh, nice! He said yes! I was kind of worried he would say no. Um, so yeah, she just told him the whole thing about how she's choosing him over Robert. He's ecstatic because he's just, he's just in love with Maya. I don't think I've had a Simbi in multiple relationships before, so this is pretty exciting. Uh, actually, I want to check just to see that Robert's still her boyfriend, that the game didn't make him not her boyfriend anymore. Uh, yep, he's her boyfriend, and then so is he. Uh, so yeah, um... I should wrap this part up soon, though. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this part here. I hope you enjoy the video, thanks for watching, and bye!